I kind of know how to play. But we always do the tutorial level, I guess. I don't know why they would show you the tutorial part if you have an option. Okay, this is the part I've been waiting for. Okay, so hold on. Hold on. So this is the part I've been waiting for. So I bought this, right? I bought this a while ago. And depending on who's inside, I'm hoping it's one of the characters that I'm going to be playing as. And I hope it's no one... Ho I hope it's somebody that I can pick from. Because you got Leo, Splinter, April, Donnie, Raph, Michelangelo. I thought uh, Casey Jones was going to be in it. Oh, well. Because I did see some, I did see a clip where they were going to have Casey Jones in it. Um, but I guess he's not in it yet. I don't know if he's like one of those unlockables. Um, but let's go ahead. I want to crack this baby open real quick. And see who we got. We'll go here. So that way we can kind of see what we got, what we got working with. How the fuck? I thought I had a knife somewhere near me. <laughs> it looks like I'm playing. Looks like I'm playing Leo. Ugh. He looks weird. But there he is. Little Leo. I guess we're doing Leo. Probably can't see him here or here, which is fine. He's going to be right here. Good evening, New York, and welcome back to Varon's View, where the view is always crystal clear. On today's show, a gift for me as a thanks to you. Ah, what is going on? Where is this gift receipt? <laughs> Sub New York, we interrupt this program to give you chaos. Ha ha ha, the Statue of Liberty. Again, the makeover is gonna look better than ever. Keep it locked here on Bebop's beat. This. <laughs> What the show? We gotta go to channel six. Job breaking news. I'm so I'm so excited. Ah. Oh, they even wait. There are game. There are challenges. Can you hit things? You oh, okay. This is great. They're playing on the game, boys. God, they're really, they're really beating me up here. I'm going. Oh, 
Let's go, Bebop. Bad news, boar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Whoops. Nah. Easy. Maybe I should have upped the difficulty, but. Hey, why does he look like that? He's just, he's just like sort of your face, he's like, ew. Cowabunga, does that mean it's a good score? Is that like a... And then there's Rocksteady. You snows, you, you light lois, toitas. Wait, what? Two, oh. Wow, there is a lot. There is a lot to do here. There is a lot to do here. Like it's not just like a side scroller anymore. They tried to steal the. T <laughs> they took the tires. They took. They stole the tires. Oh shit, what? Rocksteady, the rampaging Rushland, Rushland Rhino. They definitely added more like mechanics into the game, which is nice. Shit. We're both in the red. Uh oh. No. There we go. But we got him. <sighs> Special request on log. Cowabunk. Ah, what? It didn't even let me finish reading it. Wait, is this like a like a collect all secret diaries for Irma? Can you please find my diary? Please. So, oh, okay, okay, okay. I can do that. Over Broadway. Location Broadway. <laughs> 
Okay. Dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, who who's on the track right now? Oh my gosh, I can't hit him. Okay. There we go. Oh shit. There we go. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I am messing up on these challenges. Like, I can't, I can't stress enough, but say, like, side scroll beat em ups have, like, a special place in my heart. Like, Streets of Rage 4, like, that, that game is goaded. Like, you know, it, I don't know, you can't go wrong with this kind of game. Boss fight? Especially from a game since I, that I played when I was a kid. You know, I had to, I had to have quarters on me. Turtle thrashing monster truck. Wait, so how am I supposed to hit this thing? Bro, what? How am I supposed to... Uh-oh. Whoop, there I go. Whoa, what the fuck? There we go. You had to hit it from a weird angle. You had to hit the truck from a weird angle. Oi. And now shredders aren't our case. Ooh, Rumble in the Zoo, Central Park Zoo, which means we're gonna go up, go up against Taka or, um, who was it? Fuck, I forgot their name. Razar and Toka, I think is their names. Taka and Ro and and Razar. But yeah, Bestie, you have no idea how much I like love this game. This is like my favorite. This is like my favorite game. Well, I guess it can't be my favorite if I'm just not playing. Oh, look at him. He was just chilling. He was just thinking about he was he was thinking about working at the zoo. Wait, how are they eating with the how are they eating with the mask on? How do <laughs> Like how are they eating it with their masks on?
There's the Krang head. Oh wait, what? That's not them. Who are these guys? Ground Chuck and Dirt Bag? Dirt Bag and Ground Chuck. Whoa. Bro, this one's tough. <laughs> For the forces of good. This is great. See, I thought it was Toka and Razar, but I guess it wasn't. King of the Spill, Sewers of New York. Oh, that's a uh, that's Ratman. I'm pretty sure that's Ratman or Rat King, whatever whatever one of the, it's one of those names, but I think it's Rat King. They made the they made the pinks. They made the they made the pinks like really pink. Like th th like these soldiers are like popping. So got to be careful on the train. Oh my god, I remember I remember watching Ninja Turtles. Dude, like I love Ninja Turtles. It it's it's like my favorite like like it's like franchise like it's like favorite series i i've seen i've seen all of the cartoons i may not remember like the older ones um but i remember the 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 2012 one the 2012 ninja turtles that one was good then the 2000 like the 2009 one it, I, it might be pretty vague um and then of course i saw like the 90s one uh, and then the newest one that they did, like animated wise, uh, that one was really good. The art style was like, or the animation was, oh my god, so good. I didn't like how they made Master Splinter look in that one. Master Splinter looked ugly. They made his ass look like a, like a real rat, like a real rat sewer. It, it was, it was pretty ugly, but it would still, it was, it was still a good, like, Animated cartoon. I am the Rat King. It, so it was Rat King. Rumbling Rodin Regiment Rat King. Ah! Look at the rats. Ah! Get them off me! Get them off me! Get 
Ah. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. He's super easy. He's just it's just really annoying. There we go. Yeah, here. Give me that head. Pause. Episode five cleared. Why is everyone why is everyone taking the Krang's head? Why does Shredder want the Krang's head back? Mall meltdown. Crystal Palace Mall. The foot, the foot were getting lunch. The f the foot ninjas were getting lunch. I wonder what they were having. Wait, they're ma they're machines. Why did why are they getting food? I just realized that. Yeah, they're they're robots, but yet they're getting food. Whoa. There we go. I just had to be patient. Shredder. What's good? Tempstra? Temptestra? See, that that's a Toka. Oh, I guess I have to defeat. No, I'm almost down to one life. Or I'm down to one life. Okay, so this is just like a rinse and repeat type thing. There we go. Huh. <sighs> Almost died. Wait. Well, there's his body. So what are they are they rebuilding the Krang machine again? Roof running reptile. Roo roof running reptile. So is it Bebop and Rocksteady again? Okay, fellas. Keep your eyes open.
Okay, complete a level without falling into a pit. Toss five enemies in pits. Defeat three enemies using traps. Okay. Oh, who's this guy? Who's the bad guy? Worst of your best pals, worst of your problems. No. He's done. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. There we go. You didn't wash it? Or does it just per does it just permanently have a smell of of sunscreen? So now we got a we got a bat boss. Yeah, whoever like whoever like did the soundtrack for this, it, it, they did a phenomenal job. This is amazing. It's not boring. It's it's catchy. It gets you in the it gets you in the mood. Like you could just jam to this. Wait, so I'm guessing the leg piece is at the. So they got the head, the the body. So the next ones are the legs, wing nut. Fuck, I missed. There we go. My wings. Coney Island. That <laughs> look how he's just. He's just in the ground. Did 
Defeat two enemies by using traps. Perform five fleeing tosses. Okay. Yeah, easy. Done. Now I just gotta hit him with traps. <laughs> but yes Ah, oh, it's Metalhead. Let's go. Mm. Episode 10. I wonder. 
I wonder how many more episodes there are. Is that the legs? Yep, it's the legs. Ah, uh, we're getting close to Shredder. Let me get to foil, foil his plans again. Oh, uh, it's the the Triceratons, I think. I think that was their name. That I think that's what they called their race. Okay, perform ten flying attacks. Defeat ten by using ground attacks. Okay. Okay, that's the leader of the Triceratons, Zorax. Captain Zorax, more like Captain Borax. <laughs> Must go underground, my children. <laughs> There's Mikey. Oh no, is it is that fucking Professor Um Stockman? Bax Baxter Stockman? If I remember, I think Baxter Stockman ha always gets turned into a bug. I don't think he I don't think his arc ever changes. Like in every in every Ninja Turtles, Baxter Stockman always becomes some kind some kind of bug and it's mostly like a fly. Something gross. So, I don't think I don't think Baxter will ever be anything else. So don't get hurt more than two times. That's going to be hard. Defeat 15 robots by using jump attacks. And then defeat 10 enemies by using heavy swings. Okay, I think I can do that. Oh shit. Yeah, Baxter Stockman.
Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. <laughs> he says he does all he good bzz, bzz, bzz. that's all he does yeah now he's complete but now but he needs the he needs like the crane though right to like operate it The tech techno drone. Dimension Dimension X. Toss two enemies in pits, defeat three, defeat three enemies by using pizza power. Defeat two stone warriors by using super attacks. Stone warriors? I'm guessing you're stone warriors. Well, that was easy to take care of. There, so that general, general Trag, he's new, right? Or was he always in the show? Okay. Okay, buddy. There we go. General Trag, Trang? No, it's Trag. I don't. Re I don't remember him. I don't know if he's like. Oh. Damn it! And I'm about to die. <laughs> Intruder alert. Chrome Dome. He's not taking damage. Oh, isn't this the... Okay, hold on. Okay. Hold on. So I can't hit him at all during this phase. So I pretty much just have to dodge him until... That. There we go. Dang, that one took me 10 minutes. I think that's probably like the longest I took. <laughs> he said amigos. Oh, and you're going to have like the really like cheesy like 79... 70s and 90s like jokes. The lost arch enemies. 
the lost arch enemies like hold on what are the challenges don't get hurt more than one time from an obstacle complete the level without getting grabbed more than twice defeat stone warriors with heavy swings okay well i already got hit by an obstacle this is dimension x oh shit Oh my gosh. Slash. Twisted Turtle from Dimension X. So, and also, like, I haven't... I haven't played, like, the... Or not played. I never read any of the comics... Like, I, I know some of it. I know there's, like, a dark, like, a dark version of the Ninja Turtles where they, like, killed. And, uh... And so I never got to read in the comics. And there's also like, there's also like one where the, um, where all like the turtles die, but only one like survived. I think it's called like the, the Ron Ronin or something like that. He like takes all of his brothers, like, like weapons and, and like becomes like just the one, the one turtle. We're getting close to Shredder. Uh, yeah, no, that's gonna be the, the Krang, Techno Krang or whatever his name was. Defeat four enemies by using traps. Complete the level without getting grabbed. Don't get hurt more than three times from obstacles. Okay. God, this is gonna suck. There we go. Cause I was like, I like to hit him. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, that's Krang.
Uh, that's sad. I just re I just remembered. Crying. <laughs> Damn. Whoa. Are we doing this? Okay. Bro, you hear this soundtrack? I got I gotta know I gotta know the artist I gotta know this artist He's he's just killing it on the mic Bro, the, the, the music is tight But it's not over yet See, I kind of figured it wasn't over yet. Teleporting back to our world. The Wrath of the Lady. Oh, finish the level without using super attacks. Perform five throws. Finish the level unharmed. What? I shall rule the earth with an iron fist. Well. Okay, so when she does the slam, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hurt you. Tell me that was it. There's no way that's it. I was it. That can't be it. There he is, the man of the hour. And then Super Shredder. Okay.
He looks, he looks awesome. How do I? How am I supposed to hurt him? Oh, I see how I'm supposed to hurt him. I like how they gave him more like mystical powers if that makes sense like he's really like utilizing the power of the ooze you know what I mean yeah that, it looks really cool I like this like this new um, this new like look for him and then I like how he like puffs up like that too it's like a like, it's like what birds do, you know. When they try to intimidate, they just puff up. Ew. How are you supposed to do this without getting hit? New York can can rest easy once more now that the Lady of Liberty has been restored to her former gleaming glory. I, Vernon fin Finwick, uh, been defeated by the city's protectors, the three guardian green guardians of good, the punk frogs. Oh come on, they can't get it right. <laughs> The foot has been foiled. What's next for Leonardo? More training. A ninja is always ready. Oh, and these are all the different endings. Like, what the turtles will be doing. Tonight's the night for our party, friends, family, pizza forever. How is Casey eating the pizza with his mask? Published by... Dote Mu, developed by Tribute Games. Tribute Games. Technical director Gene Farcios Major. Game director Jonathan Levine. Levine. Game designer Free Derek Gimmis. Adam J. Martin. Simon Graveline. Oh my gosh. The animators, they did a fantastic job. Background artists, it looks fucking beautiful. Character concept artist, Paul Robertson. I think he the rework looked really well. Audio designer, Patrice, script writer, Yannick Bazil, illustrator Ewen Hang, marketing Eric Lafonte, social media manager Sandrine Bedor Brisson, administrative. No, this special thanks Weston F Fry, Ethan Lee, Leon Popo, Dotimu. Oh, is that like the team? Like now, like that's this is their team. Producer, assistant produ producer, producer. Wow, game design, cons consulant, 
additional counseling, head of quality insurance, lead QA, court tester, Catherine Doro Joke Mojiski, QA testers. Honestly, there wasn't much for me to like pick at either. Um, head of design, head of marketing. Like the only thing I had to complain about was like, I feel like they had more villains than that, but I figured they didn't want to go through all of the, go, go through all the old characters, like the old villains. Um, but it's awesome. <laughs> Nickelodeon. Like the, 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 I feel like this is not only is this like a second game, like, like a sequel from the first one, it's, it's just so much better, like mechanically, like you get more health as you level up, you get more abilities. Um, um, I don't mind the challenges. The challenges are fun. Um, you got collectibles, so you got like a side mission. Uh, I feel like some of the challenges are hard to do. Like, how are you supposed to beat the game without getting hit once? I feel like that's gonna be hard. Um, music credits. This is what this is what I was kind of waiting for. Music composed and produced by T. Lopes. Performed by Mike Patton. Produced Oliver Dex. Lyrics and performance. Anton Corza. Kors, performed by Jonathan Johnny Adam. Performed by Raekwon, the chief at Ghostface Killer. I do it. Yeah, it's a pizza party by Mega Ron. Guitarist Johnny Adam. Atma. Audio engineer Andrew One. Kikata. Kikatana Records. Original soundtrack available on Kikatana Records. Okay, bet. See, I kind of figured, I was like, why does this guy sound so familiar? I'm so glad that they got them on there. I'm so glad they got them and not fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry, but fucking... What was his name? Vanilla Ice? Because he was in the, in the second movie. Was he in the second one? Uh, with... Because in the live action film, they have Vanilla Ice in it. Um... Uh... And I thought that was pretty funny, uh, but I'm glad that they went with those. They went with that crew instead. They did. They did. They did a fantastic job. I can only. I can only. <laughs> I just imagine the interviewers. They were just like, "Come on, man, do it for the kids, man. Do it for the kids." And they were like, "All right, fuck it, let's go." They doing it for the kids. I mean, I mean, clearly, I'm not a child, but this is great. Like that is that is so cool that they were able to get him on the game. Gosh, and these and I think the the team, I think this is like a team like from overseas. So like, I always wonder like how they were able to. I mean, I guess you, it's good to have connections. Like, how do they get them, like, on this? You know what I mean? But. But all in all, this game was really fun. It didn't, obviously, it's not hard. It doesn't take long to beat. Most, most side scrolls are not that big of a game. They're kind of fun when you want to just kind of like pass the time or play with some friends and just kind of, you know, beat up some baddies. <laughs> but man, this is such a big jump. Like I could, I can't stress that enough from going from like the, like the nineties to now 20, what year are we in? 22, Jesus Christ, you know, that it's just a long jump and it's great. I love it. 
I can only imagine what this game is like multiplayer though. I feel like that's like the real um the real attention grabber is like um mul the multiplayer. Kawabunga, thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Honestly, you already know I'm giving this a fucking 10 out of 10 like right off the bat. Then we unlock Casey Jones. So he 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 is an unlockable. Okay. Okay.